Marathon, Kirsten Ellen Fleming, and um, thank goodness I can see you this morning. <laughs> She's got her jersey on. Very no excited. camouflage. No, no, no. And you know what's really cool about this is we want to make sure that all Calgarians have the opportunity to get involved and want to give them enough notice. So we're talking about this on the 5th of January. It's perfect running weather. It is. Mm -hmm. And on breakfast television, we like to get you prepared and conditioned for it. This year, we've got a special surprise. Somebody that's new on the breakfast television viewers is going to be doing it. Are you ready for the reveal? Yeah. Drum roll. We know him as Mr. Fabulous, Ryan Massel. <laughs> get on in here. Yeah, I'm already running. I'm already running. Yeah, I win. I win. I win. Now, now, let's talk about this because how did Ryan get involved in and, and how did you guys have this partnership? Well, I've known Ryan for a long time, long before he was Mr. Fabulous. And we have been chatting uh, just, you know, socially. And I mentioned, you know, he should come and try out the marathon. And he has some goals of his own. But I'll just say that before he had even signed up, I noticed on Twitter he was talking smack to seasoned what? runners. I was like, well, that's, uh, that's one way to get in the game. This is not true. You know, I saw myself <laughs> on TV after the Sweets and Treats episode, and I was like, you know what? I need to, like, get in shape. So this is super recent then. Oh, this is really recent. This is this December. Is... <laughs> in December. Okay, now, before we get, because you, you've got a starting point. We're going to get to that in a second. This year is kind of special when it comes to the marathon. And tell us about that, because this is a special year for Calgary, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's the year of music in Calgary. We are hosting the Junos, and we also have the grand opening of the National Music Center happening this year. And the National Music Center is on the route, so the runners do pass by it three times, go under it. And it's been uh, already really imposing over the route. It's been awesome to see it develop over the years. Mm -hmm. So we're very excited to partner with them. We're going to do something special at the National Music Center on race day, May 29th. And we're also, you know, tapping into the superhero theme this year. So uh, Ryan already has got his game day shirt That's on, right. which I love. Uh, but Already there's going to be some smack. awesome prizes, giveaways for pe people who want to dress up in any and all sorts of superhero themes. You can let your alter ego out on Wednesday night at our launch event and start planning your costume for May 29th. Okay, now before we get to the first step for Ryan, and when I say step, it might be two steps. You'll see what that means in a second. Uh, Ryan says, he said it's time for some changes and a few weeks ago. Absolutely. What I like about this, uh, Kirsten, is the fact that when I think about the Calgary Marathon, the Scotiabank Calgary Marathon, I think that you have to be a super duper uber season runner but if you're starting in January or February you have the chance to be a newbie yeah absolutely I mean there is a race for every age and ability it's 5k to 50k we say we graduate our runners right up to the ultra distance but really if you just have some resolutions or some goals um, want to lose some weight want to get fit want to try a new sport you could just start today by walking and running we have so all sorts of programs on our uh, website at calgarymarathon.com and really like it's just a great event to come out and it's family friendly and there is like that race for everyone. I, I encourage people, you know, this is like a tough time, so it's a good thing. It's free, it's social, you can meet new friends. It's a great way to keep busy th during those cold winter months. This first step for Ryan, is this something that you decided on or is this Ryan? We talked it through. Okay. We did. We <laughs> what did. did you decide? It was his idea. We, you know, we've been talking through for about four years now, and every year I say no, 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 because I've never ran before. But this year, she, I don't know what it was. I just said, you know, you've broken me down, and let's do this. Let's try to run. I mean, okay. other people do it. How hard could it be? <laughs> wow. I can't Good wait attitude. to follow Good your attitude. progress. So, what are we going to do to start it off? Well, he's going to weigh in, and this was definitely oh, Ryan's this idea. Is your idea. So, this get is on my there. Idea. You know, I know that I'm massively overweight, but you know, it's, it's more about how I feel. So, today we're, we're locking in at, we'll say, 263. We keep going back and forth. <laughs> you keep going back and forth, Ryan, all the time. 262. Okay. Two, two, when you first. We'll 262. give you 262. Yeah. Two, okay, 262. With With, your, maybe your shoes are 45, 50 pounds. I think pounds. they are. I think they are. It, well, I almost broke the scale. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a, a little bit overweight, I think, for where I should be. So let's say... You're let's a big say, guy, though, yeah, too. Yeah, I'm a big guy. So let's still. say... Well, that's all the sweets and treats. But let's say it's 30 pounds. It's your goal. 30 pounds. 30 pounds. Yeah. That's an that's admirable goal. Yeah. So you want to go 262 to 232. Yeah, let's say that. We're going to mark this down. Yeah. All the best to you. This is great. Importantly, I want to get healthy. He wants yes, to get healthy. And we want to get people involved with the Scotiabank Calgary Marathon. It's the 29th of May, so we got some time. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. There's the launch event this Wednesday, so you can come check it out and uh, see what it's all about before you make a decision or register online. So don't head down to Stampede Park quite yet. You'd be a little no, early. No, you would be a little early. Wednesday's Eau Claire Market, uh, okay. Center Court. Excellent. And we'll be following Mr. Fabulous, Ryan Massell's progress over the next few weeks. Thank right. you very much, Kirsten. Yeah, right on. Go right. Now, that is a goal in the new year and for 2016. Uh, setting goals and helping you reach those goals are uh, Craig Larkins is going through your closet this morning.